Will you indulge me? I want to do a little quiz with you today. I'm going to read to you a speech delivered seven years ago on the politics of conscience. I won't read the whole thing because it's quite lengthy, but at the end of it, I will reveal to you who actually wrote it and don't Google because it's still available online. However, I have a hard copy. Warning, censorship. Warning, censorship. The speech was delivered at the annual Red Mass Dinner hosted by the Thomas More Lawyers Guild of Toronto. Now, More is a patron saint of jurists and lawyers, and he was beheaded by Henry VIII. This is one of the most compelling and reasoned arguments for the moral case of limiting the state, especially in matters of the church that I have ever read in my entire life, and I read a lot of these things. That's why I wanted to share it with you. Okay, let's go. It's called Conscience versus the Spirit of the Age. St. Thomas More suffered martyrdom because he insisted that there was a limit to the king's lawful authority, namely that he had to respect the freedom of the church, guaranteed by the very nature of the state and the nature of the church. These ancient principles were recognized in the first article of the Magna Carta, which guaranteed the church's freedom. When Henry VIII's parliament voted him the head of the church, it exceeded its competence. It was a law, but not lawful, for it violated justice. It did not give the church its due, and it granted to the king what was not his due. A state cannot endure in all peaceable freedom and tranquility if it does not recognize the due limits to its power. We have seen repeat. Oh, hey, let me stop you right there because our big tech overlords at YouTube have decided that this video, well, it might give you just a little bit too much to think about. It might angry up your brain cells and they can't have that. So what that means is if I show you this video in full, that contains important information and I think important opinions because they're my own, YouTube might and likely will cancel our channel altogether, thus cutting us off from 1.5 million greatly appreciated YouTube subscribers, even those of you who hate watch us. Anyway, to get around this censorship, what I'm going to do is include a link to this video in full in the description box on YouTube. And if you click on that link, it'll take you to another platform that doesn't care about your politics and away from the censorship platform of YouTube. So you can see it in full. And I'm going to ask you to do something else to help us get around the censorship of big tech. Would you mind checking at rebelnews.com for all your news? Because on our website, you will see stories that we can't publish on Facebook because they will take away our Facebook page and that we can't publish on YouTube like this video here. It's the one way where you can get all the news that Rebel News publishes. Thanks again. And sorry about the constant censorship.